My name is Donna Bergman. I am the Director of Sustainability, Energy, and Environmental Quality for the City of Evansville. I think when people say air quality, they really, what they're really meaning is air that's healthy for us to breathe. And I think that's one of those goals that everybody wants. There's a group called the Clean Air Scientific Advisory Committee, or CASAC, and they, these are researchers and scientists that review studies and reports and try to come up with a level at which the air quality is sufficient to protect public health with an adequate margin of safety. So just defining that is a pretty long and, and arduous process, and it's one that we've been working on for since before the Clean Air Act of 1970. You know, what is clean air? what is good air quality. And one of the things that people a lot of times tend to think of is um, uh, if it smells bad, it's, it's, it's poor air quality. It's just because it smells bad doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's bad for your health. But there are certain criteria of pollutants that are either bad for your health or bad for the environment or both. So we have nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxides, carbon monoxides, Particulates, uh, lead, and ozone. Those are the six criteria pollutants. Those are the big six as far as US EPA is concerned. Now around here in southern Indiana, the tri-state area, we have two pollutants of concern. That's ozone during the summer months and then particulate year-round. My definition of air quality, and it's more like my dream of air quality would be that I just don't have to worry about it. That I know that when I go outside that there's not going to be ozone at a level that will impact my health, that there's not going to be particulate matter in the air that will affect my lungs, and that there's not acid rain that's killing the lakes and trees and plants. So it's just something that I don't want to have to worry about but we need to.